let's uh, talk about this PMI report, though, and relative to Bitcoin, this is yikes. The PMI just fell to 45. That is near recession levels. Services PMI is down to 44. You can see the big crash, the big COVID crash here. You can see the big, uh, the 08 crash uh, leading into 09. And then maybe we don't know if it's going to end soon, if this is going to reverse. Now, uh, the PMI, this is the U.S. Purchasing Managers Index. And this is weighing five major areas here. It's new orders, inventory levels, production, supplier deliveries, and employment. And uh, I, I can't really, I'm trying to bend my fingers there, but it, it's a little tough still. Uh, so the, the, talking to some of the top executives here, this is uh, over manufacturing. And from these metrics, it looks like, uh, you know, maybe a lot of pain on the short term here. We're talking about a lot of major issues when it comes to supply and demand. And supply and demand has a lot to do with inflation. If uh, there's not enough milk cartons, Milk cartons are going to go up. You look at year over year, you're like, oh, my milk went up 30%. This is inflation. Although it could be a supply-demand issue more than anything. What does that tell you when you think of you know, our objective goal of getting to 4% inflation by the end of the year? When you see these PMI numbers, what is that telling you? It's probably a good thing in a sense that um, we kind of need, we do need a pull. We can't just keep going up. Prices of things or like, Prices of assets can't just keep going up. So I think this isn't the worst thing that can happen. And I do I do agree with Ragsy that I, I think we are in a recession. Um, I've said it on this show a number of times regarding holding cash. As much as I hate to say it, right now, holding U.S. dollars isn't the, the worst thing. And I think uh, Brian's parents, when they are saying to go buy food, A, do you think that he went and bought food? When they reminded him, that is that is a, a question that the chat can probably answer. But these are kind of things that personally that I'm somewhat scared of. I got out of real estate market. I sold out of uh, my apartment in Miami. Uh, the real estate market was going absolutely absurd. I took cash off the table there. I'm holding as much U.S. dollars as I've ever held because I'm ready for things to kind of crumble and burn. I'm waiting for it. Maybe it doesn't happen. Maybe uh, there's some more quantitative easing that happens before that actually occurs. But I'm preparing for the worst, hoping for the best. But uh, kind of going back to what Arcane Bear was saying about crypto and how this relates, when I'm seeing the crypto prices, Bitcoin at 20K, 23K, 15K, in my eyes, none of that really matters in a sense of where I think it will go. When you're looking at it 10 years from now and it's trading at whatever price, whether it's 6 million, 300K, 400K, you're going to not be mad that you bought it at 23k or 15k that won't make the difference so where is it going from a, a macro side of things and for bitcoin specifically and i also think ethereum uh nothing has really changed except just kind of be ready to weather the storm if and when it comes